MMA fighter Arnold Burdon today pleaded not guilty to assaulting his wife, rising UFC star Rachel Ostovich. Burdon posted $75,000 bail and left court with a February trial date. All new tonight, a disturbing cell phone recording of last month's incident. The audio, which you'll hear only on Hawaii News Now, provides a better understanding of the length and the brutality of the alleged attack. The evidence is a key part of the criminal case against Osevich's now estranged husband, who's charged with second degree assault. Victims advocates say the recording raises the question of why he isn't facing a more serious charge. Our chief investigative reporter Lynn Kawano has the exclusive details. The video was taken by a witness. It is about 10 minutes long and extremely violent. We are only using a small portion of it to show why Honolulu police wanted attempted murder charges for Arnold Burdon. The prosecutor's office instead went with assault. <laughs> On November 27th, a witness started recording in the dark on a cell phone after hearing Rachel Ostovich's screams. She was being assaulted allegedly by her husband, MMA fighter Arnold Burdon, in their Waianae home. In a court filing, Ostovich wrote that he punched me repeatedly on the head, face, ribs. She says she coughed up blood and threw up several times. The entire recording goes on for about 10 minutes. You can hear the blows landing and Ostovich crying out and screaming. Her injuries included a broken eye socket and multiple bruises. And Ostovich said it wasn't the first time. A key piece of the audio recording includes Burdon seeming to threaten her life. At one point, Ostovich is quiet, and sources say she fell unconscious. When she came to, she escaped, falling nine and a half feet off the lanai. The video shows her stumble out, nude. She runs for help. Police sources say Burdon's statements and the length and severity of the beating justified an attempted murder charge, HPD recommended. But when prosecutors charged the case, it was downgraded to assault. If there have been multiple incidents and they've been uh, increasing in severity or frequency, and then there are threats to kill, at what point does the system take his threats and his violence seriously? Uh, recognize them for the grave, violent acts that they are, and try to hold accountable the people who are committing these crimes. The prosecutor's office did not provide an explanation. Burdon's attorney, Miles Briner, says assault is an appropriate charge, especially with domestic violence. He says attempted murder would have been overcharging. There are times when they overreach, and this is one of those. Arnold Burdon and his wife had a relationship. It was acrimonious. There's no question about that. The fact that DV officials or advocates want something is neither here nor there. They're not the attorneys. They don't have to try the case. Burdon's attorney says his client is participating in a domestic violence intervention course and that the two are going through a divorce. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now. Thank you so much, Lynn. There are several groups across the state who can help people in abusive relationships. These are two of the main organizations. You'll also find these links on our website. We did call the Ostovich family and they declined to comment, saying she's focused on training for her upcoming UFC fight in New York on January 19th.